So welcome, welcome everyone to Internet Marketing Education with the Web Woman. And tonight is class number three. We're going to be talking today about your very first tool. Now I don't know if any of you have ever done any crafting or anything like that, but tools are very, very important. Whether you're building a house or sewing or painting or whatever, using the right tools for the job is an important thing. I saw my grandfather, who was a welder, and he had quite the tool shed. Um, it was amazing uh, to me just exactly how full that tool shed was. Tonight we're going to talk about a concept and the tool that goes with it. Remember last week we talked about keywords and keyword phrases this week we're going to give you a tool that will allow you to expand on that for many, many reasons. But the first kind of question that I need to ask you is how big a slice of the pie do you need in your business? Now understand that the Internet's a pretty darn big pie. As a matter of fact, Facebook alone has a billion users a day. That's in one day. Now, how big a number is a billion? Well, if you were to start counting right now, one, two, three, four, five, and continued counting day and night without stopping to eat or drink, without pausing at all, it would take you 40 years to count to a billion. That's how big that number is. And we throw it around all the time. But that means that the Internet is a really, really big place. They don't call it cyberspace for nothing. Okay? And so you need to decide how big of a slice of that pie do you need to be successful in your business? Do you need 20 customers? If you're selling a very large ticket or recurring uh, payment item, then maybe you could get by with 20 customers, especially if your overhead was really low and you weren't working a lot of hours at the business. Um, maybe you need 100 people. 100 people can be a pretty good number. If you're making 100 people, if you're making $100, excuse me, on 100 people every single month, that's a nice round number. Matter of fact, that's $10,000 a month. So maybe your slice of the pie is 100 people. I can't judge that for you because every business is different. If you are making a very small markup on an item and need to send sell a lot of them, then your slice of the pie needs to be larger than someone who is either getting a recurring payment on what they're doing, that's called residual income, or they're selling a very large ticket item. That same uh, $10,000 could be supplied by 10 people if, you're, if the um, commission or the payment that you're making on that particular product or service is $1,000. You only need 10 people. So it's going to be different for every person. Realtors, how many buyers does a realtor need to make really good money year in, year out? Well, one or two would be fine for them as long as they were the people with the pain. In other words, as long as they were someone who wanted what they had and you didn't have to do a lot of convincing to get them there. Okay? Now, if you've got to do a lot of convincing to get them where you're going, then mm, you might probably need a lot of people. You might need 10,000 people to make $10,000, even if you're making a fairly good size income on that, you're going to need a lot more people because not everybody who you talk to is going to buy what you have. So 
That being said, remember our homework last week was to make a list of 25 keywords to print it out and put it where you can see it every day. I hope that each one of you took the time to do that homework because we're going to build on it today. We're going to take you to seobook.com. Now, on seobook.com does a lot of things, and it's mostly about um, uh, search engine optimization. Now, search engine optimization is what you do to your website or your blog or your posts, anywhere you post them, in order to get the attention of the search engines. That means having the right keywords, not just in the post or on the blog or on the website, but also in places like how you name your files that you may, you know, if you're downloading files, they need to have a, a name that has keywords in it. If you are putting graphics up on your website, those graphics need to have, their names have keywords in them. They also need to have something called an alt tag filled in. And we'll talk about SEO in another call. But SEO Book has this really amazing tool. It's called the keyword tool. And the keyword tool does something really, really special. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my browser here and take a look at it. This is SEO book. Okay? And um, Okay, um, just a moment. Uh, Irene Armstrong needed the international numbers. Um, see if I can give her that control copy and let's see if that. Nope, it didn't do that. Well, um, just a second. Irene, there is a list of international numbers to dial in on the event page. Check there. Okay, so... Hopefully she got that. She, she's still with this. Yes, she is. Okay. So now let's take a look at this. When you go into SEO book, the first thing you're going to need to do is create an account. The account in SEO book is free. I've had an account with them for many years now. And it's, if you already have an account, it will want your username or email address. Okay, so I'm going to log in, and then I am going to go to the keyword tool. I'm going to click on the keyword tool, and it's going to take me to this lovely little page right here. Now, it says try the coolest keyword research, research tool today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate why this is an important tool. You've already written down some keyword phrases. I'm going to go ahead and put the keyword phrase internet marketing into the tool. And I am going to click submit. And you'll notice that it will bring up this really nice little page right here. Okay, it will list up to 100 keyword phrases here. Now, long tail phrases are phrases that are specific. The more specific, the better. 
notice here that not everything that I'm looking at here might apply to me. For instance, we have internet marketing, internet marketing company, that would be me, internet marketing strategies, that would be me, internet marketing services, also me, but local internet marketing, I don't focus on local markets that much. I may do some of that in the future, but that's not really me. Internet marketing jobs, that's not me. I'm not hiring right now, and I'm not looking for an internet marketing job. So, um, so that's not me. Internet marketing explained? Hmm. Now let's look over here. Let's look for monthly searches. Wow, internet marketing. Over 14,000 people look every month for the keywords internet marketing. And you might say to yourself, hmm, remember we talked about that pie? Hmm, that's a lot of pie. I had 14,000 hits on my website every month. I would be the happiest camper on the planet. But guess what? You see over here? If you're going to do a cost per click or pay per click, you are going to pay $13 per click for that keyword. Do you know what that means? That means it's a very high intensity keyword. This is a keyword that's going to get searched a lot, and so there's a lot of competition. What is your chances as a new internet marketer that you are going to actually get there? that you are actually going to get to the top of this. Now, when we do searches, typically most people do not go farther than two pages deep. That's 20 searches, which means if you are ranked number 21 in the search engines under that keyword, probably nobody's going to see you. Okay? So... Maybe that's not something you're ready to tackle just yet. All right? But as we go down here, you'll notice to the right, okay, to the right are the costs. Internet marketing is a very, very highly competitive keyword. But let's look at, you know, let's look at some of these that don't cost quite so much. For instance, Utah Internet Marketing. Hmm, I need, need to look for some people in Utah maybe. Um, but let me find one. If that's a, this is maybe not as easy. Oh, here, $1.36. Marketing Direct Internet. Now there's 228 people that look for those specific keywords. Okay, 228 all right, that's about eight hits a day in Google. All right, all right, and they're saying one dollar and thirty-six. This means this is not a high competition keyword. But guess what? Doesn't need to be a high competition keyword. All right, here's lawyers. Lawyers looking for internet marketing. Hmm, there's two hundred and twenty-eight hits a month on that. Maybe I should go after some lawyers, all right? As you read through these lists, recognize that it's not necessarily about getting found by the search engines. It's about, first of all, finding out what are people actually looking for, okay? Um, if I put an Internet this is just off the wall, so let's see if it works. So if I put an internet marketing tabloid into this and hit submit, oh, whoops, look, sorry, that term is not currently in our keyword database, which means even if I do have such a thing as an internet marketing tabloid, it's not the keywords I want to put into this keyword tool, or excuse me, into my site, because nobody's looking for it. So this is a big clue as to whether or not this is something 
that people actually want. So let's try this one. Let's talk about life coach. Let's put that in. I know some of you are life coaches. Let's submit that in and see what we've got here. When I put in life coach, 26,000 people every month are looking for a life coach online. What does that tell you? That tells you that being a life coach is really good. Some of these people are also looking to become a life coach and be certified for it. Some people want to know how much life coaches make, how to become a life coach, what is a life coach. Okay, life coach training. Does that mean that they want to be trained by a life coach or does that mean that they want to be trained as a life coach? We don't know. Here's more about becoming a life coach. All right? Looks like a lot of people are looking to become life coaches. That means there's a lot of competition out there. Okay? Find a life coach. Ooh, ah, look at that one. Does that make you go all tingly all over? And, you know... It's only $2.43. But look, 708 people are looking to find a life coach online every month, 708 people. Would you like even half of those people to come to your website? I mean, how many, how many sales, how many um, life coach clients do you need to get for you to make the money you want to make as a life coach every month. All right? Um, So let's look here. Um, Spiritual life coach. You know, here's, notice these. These are really important. All right? Life coach San Francisco. If there are people, a lot of people in San Francisco who are looking for life coaches, Maybe those are keywords you might want to target, all right? Personal life coach. Uh, Notice a lot of these are local, all right? If you do one-on-one face-to-face, this might be a really good thing for you to pursue. Successful life coach. Oh, success, excuse me, success life coach. Okay, somebody's looking to, you know, and notice these numbers are still not bad. That's, you know, 13 hits a day. Now, before you roll, wrinkle your nose and roll your nose up, what if we had 10 of these that were 384? We're getting now 3,840 hits a month. Don't try and make your whole pie out of one ingredient. Don't try to make all your money on one long-tailed specific keyword. You can see there are a lot of different people who are looking for life coaches or to become a life coach. Looks with all with all of the things that are people who want to become a life coach maybe wouldn't be a bad idea to start a course on how to become a life coach. You might get a lot of response for that, okay? Um, So here's Martha Beck, life coach training. Evidently, Martha Beck has created a name for herself. I don't know who she is. Maybe some of you do. Okay, but... 132 people a month are actually looking specifically for her. How nice would it be for you to have that happen to you? Which means you need to brand your name, and your name needs to be a repeated keyword on your website, on your posts, on any pictures that are out there of you, etc. Okay? Life 
coach websites. If you've got a really responsive life coach website, maybe you could make some money making websites for other life coaches. Life coach books. Oh, do you have you written a book yet? Hi, who just joined us? Irene Armstrong. Oh, yay, Irene, I'm so glad you were able to make it online. And you can listen to the, listen to the rest of this for free on the recording, okay? Okay. All right. So what we are doing, we are in um, SEO book in their keyword tool, and we're talking about long-tailed keywords and why specific keywords are important and why you don't have to just go after the big numbers, Okay. So if okay. we're going, scrolling down here, like I said, this gives you 100 potential ideas about this. Let's try something else. Okay, I work with a program that um, creates gold savings plans for people. So I'm just going to put in the general word gold into the keyword. All right. And it's going to... Think about it for a minute here, and up it pops. Okay, notice that the first keyword in this was not the word gold. It was the word gold price. Now look at these numbers, all right? But I don't necessarily want to, you know, go after this. Obviously, it's a big deal. The price of gold... Um, let's see here. Let's find something that might be interesting to me, okay? If I'm going to sell gold to people, um, let's see. Gold price per grain. Oops, let's see here. Um... Uh, there was one I saw earlier that, okay, how much is gold worth? This is a great one. Okay, so if I click on how much is gold worth in this, something interesting happens. Notice I get a sub list. The word how much is gold worth is in it, but also... How much is an ounce of gold worth? How much is a gold bar worth? How much is gold worth today? How much is gold worth per ounce? See this? Mm -hmm. Okay. See how it just broke it down for me into much more specific terms? Okay, so if I click on how much is an ounce of gold worth today, Evidently, that's as far as it goes. So now I can go back to this list, all right? Another interesting feature of this is let's say you wanted all of this list so that you could go through this list at your leisure and figure out what you want to go through. And remember, I had you make a list and put it in your folder. Okay, so let's – let me put that so that it slides over here for me um, – Let's look at, where is it? It's down at the bottom. See this button down here? This says export to CSV. Now a CSV file is basically a spreadsheet. So whatever your default spreadsheet is on your computer, it will automatically export it to that. And you can now export this entire list as a CSV file, which means you can go um, through it as your leisure, at your leisure. I do this for my clients. When I do keyword research for my clients, I put that CSV file together for them so that we can go over it and talk about it. Um, um, let's see here. Okay, they changed that, so I don't worry about it. Um, here's generate keywords using our keyword list generator. This goes on to your website, 
and it will find everything it thinks is a keyword. This is a great way to find out whether you've actually got the keywords that you need to have on there, okay? Um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Let's do this. Let's do the same search, only now I'm going to click on G Trends and I'm going to hit Submit. Okay, now what this is telling me is what's trending, okay? According to G Trends, what's trending? Monthly, daily, specifically on Google, Bing, and Yahoo. All right, and okay. Um, once again, that's the basics of this. Now, having said that, it's not the total use of this tool. Next week, we're going to be um, doing something really, really cool. We're going to be talking about blogging and the best way to blog. And one of the things I'm going to teach you is something called a writer's unblocking kit. Okay? And we're going to talk about creating titles for blogs. All right? Now, when we do this, you come back to this tool and look and see what are people talking about. If you want a really hard-hitting title, use the title of someone who is um, interested in it. Let's try this. Where can I buy gold? I'm going to submit that. Okay. Notice some of these don't have a lot of people looking for them, but it's very, very specific. But where can I buy gold bars? Where can I buy gold coins? Where can I buy gold bullion? These are very, very specific. Um, let's try this. How to. This is the most amazing keyword search on the planet. All right. How to boil eggs. How to draw. How to draw a rose. Interesting that those two are both about drawing. How to don download YouTube videos. Obviously, somebody's interested in that. How to ask a girl out how to cook spaghetti squash. These are the most popular how-tos on the planet, and do you think it might be a good idea for you to use the word how-to in whatever it is that you're doing? Okay, here's another one. DIY. Submit. Do-it-yourself Halloween costumes. Do-it-yourself crafts. Do-it-yourself projects. Headboard. Interesting. What comes up. Okay. So these are all do-it-yourself. Now let's type in the actual words. Do it yourself. Do-it-yourself pest control. Ah, didn't know it was that big of a problem for most people. Car wash, divorce, do-it-yourself magazine, projects, wedding invitations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Do-it-yourself, another one. Now try this one. How do I...
how do I ask a girl out? How many, you know, it, it, this how is a very powerful word in the, in the marketing world. Learn how to use these things when you are putting together your list. So ask yourself, as you're looking right now at your keywords, Say to yourself, how do I find, get, do, make, watch, download, create, all these action words, right? And add it to keywords on your list. This keyword tool is an idea factory. When you are looking for a clever and keyword happy title for a video you're going to make or a post you're going to do or a um, newsletter article that you're going to write or a Facebook article or a um, LinkedIn article or whatever it is that you're doing, Take the time to sit down with this tool and play with it. It doesn't bite. doesn't cost anything. Every once in a while, it will ask you a question or something because you're using it in free mode and you're, you don't have a mem- an SEO book membership. But don't worry about it. Just type the thing in and it will let you continue. And you can do this over and over and over and over again. And you can click on, for instance, if you're in the diet industry, how many calories do I need? You might want to click on that and see the list that comes up for that. Okay. And let this keyword tool do your legwork for you. How many calories do I need to lose weight? That's a really clear, beautiful, long-tail keyword thing. And look how many people put those exact words into the search engine every month. These are not accumulative. In other words, 7,920 doesn't subtract from 39,720. Each of these stands on its own. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right? So um, how many calories do I need a day? How many calories do I need to maintain my weight? These are all things that you need to write an article about if you're in the diet industry, right? How exciting is that? Think about it. All right. So another thing you might want to put in is how... Many. How many ounces in a cup? How many ounces in a (laughs) gallon? Evidently, a lot of people cook, okay? Um, But how many square feet an acre, so forth and so on? Um, How many, wait, wait, there was one I saw just in a second about bees. Did you see the one about bees? Thought I saw many wild. Um, I thought I saw one about bees. Well, there must be one in How there. many calories in an apple? Okay, how many calories in a fill in the blank? Great keywords. Um, how many moons did Jupiter have? How many oceans are there? Okay, but how some of these things are going to. Um, Um, apply to you, and some of them aren't. But it's, a gr- it's another great way to stimulate your mind. If you don't know what to write about today, put in the word how and something else. How far. How far along am I? How far is fill in the blank? How far away to the sun? How far is heaven? Ooh, what a great, 
Wouldn't that be a great title for a book? Right? Okay. Um, and look at how many people are looking for it. There are some people in, in definite need of some spiritual counseling here. How far is it to heaven? 4,320 people every single month put those exact words into the search engine. Is anybody excited about this besides me? <laughs> you know, seriously. Um, I, I just, I get all tingly and stuff <laughs> when I do this because it is so amazing. And I just lost my little toolbar thingy here. Tell me about my... Interesting. Okay, hold on just a second. Maybe it's... There it is. Okay. So, um, checking for any questions there might be in the chat. Okay. So, um, uh, let's go back to this here. So, homework. Big time homework. But let me just talk to you about homework for just a minute here. Homework is the fuel that runs your engine. You can have the most beautiful car in the world, and without fuel, it's not going anywhere. You can listen to every single one of my webinars and even take notes. But if you don't do the homework, you're not going anywhere because every single one of these classes requires some action. Okay? And so these are your action steps for this coming week. Now, if you haven't already done the two classes that come before this, I suggest that you try and do some catch-up. There's two classes that came before this, and you can go to our group. Um, if you haven't already been brought into the group, um, feel free to friend me on Facebook. And then just private message me and say, Bonnie, please add me to uh, the Web Woman group. And I will be more than happy to do that for you. On there are all of the um, recorded calls. Okay? So by all means, get on there. This also is a place for you to ask questions about your homework. If you're doing your homework and you're stuck, Type something in. Most of the time, I'm available. I don't do anything on Sunday. That's my rest day. But the rest of the time between 9 o'clock in the morning until often midnight at night, I'm there and I'm online and I'm listening and watching for those kinds of things to come up. So please, please, please type any questions, comments, requests, ideas you may have. And if you want to report on your homework and give us some ideas of what you've done with your homework or an aha moment that you had as a result of your homework, please, 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 by all means, share. The whole idea of this is a mastermind group. And the definition of a mastermind group is a bunch of minds that get together in a group to share ideas. And that's what this mastermind group is about. So please, 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 whether you watch this or listen to it live or whether you watched and listened to it in the recording, by all means, take a moment and go into the group and comment. You know, none of us bite. Uh, everybody's there to help everybody else. If I catch anybody biting, they'll have time out, okay? So it's a safe place to go in and ask your questions and whatnot. And remember, every single one of you are in a different place right now. Some of you have been marketing online for years, and this is a catch-up for you. Some of you have been... Um, you know, thinking about marketing online, and you don't even have a product yet, much less a website. doesn't matter where you are, okay? 
there's no question that I would consider stupid. My grandfather always said there's no such thing as a stupid question if you really want to know the answer. Okay, so that being said, here is your homework for tonight. First of all, you need to um, take those 25 keywords that you did last week and put them into the SEO book keyword selection tool and pull out at least five suitable long tail keywords to use for your branding and everything else. Write them down. It will be useless to you if you don't write them down. Okay, if you are posting on Facebook about your business or LinkedIn or Reddit or you have a blog or whatever, you need to use at least three of those keywords in your daily posting activities every single day. If you would like to do a trial posting, tell us the, the keywords that you're trying to use and what you think you want to say. You might get some ideas from the group. So feel free to you know, do this kind of group hug thing that says that we all help each other. Every day, use a different three keywords. Now, you can use one from yesterday and two new ones. But do not use all three new of the keywords that you used the day before the next day. This allows you to sound very natural to the search engines and gives you credibility in your niche. It also will help you decide what to write about. Once you've got that list together, post the list where you can see it every day. If there are several pages to the list, change the pages out. Get one of those little clear plastic binder, you know, the things you put in your binder that's a sheet protector, get one of those, stick it up close to your computer where you can see it, and you can change those sheets out every day. Just put the one in front behind, okay? Um, and then take the list that you printed out and name it and add it to your project file. Remember, the very first lesson we gave, we told you to start a project file for your business. This should be on your desktop, right where you can see it every day. And in there goes graphics, ideas, lists, um, any keywords that you have, keyword lists that you have. You might have different keyword lists depending on what aspect of your business you're working on, for instance, and also any um, lists of passwords and usernames and URLs to various tools that you're using. For instance, once you get your SEO book membership, take your username and your password and seobook.com URL, put it in a little notepad file, and label it. Matter of fact, make a little subfolder in your folder that says keys or, or um, site tools or um, I can't remember anything, so I made this fo folder. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're going to do, name it so that you know that that's where you keep all of your stuff that you need to be able to remember. Um, if you found this class valuable to you and you found that the information is helpful, um, you should know that, number one, I never charge for this class. You can come as often as you want for free. But I do have expenses tied to doing this class. And I would appreciate it if any of you who can afford to do so would go ahead and donate. I put the donation um, 
link in the chat. It's clear at the top of the chat there. You can just go ahead. It's clickable. Or you can go to the, um, the link that I'm showing here, https colon slash slash we share crowdfunding dot com front slash fund me please. Okay, I'm going to repeat that https colon front slash front slash we share crowdfunding dot com fund me oh excuse me dot com front slash fund me please. So next week we are going to have our fourth class in this series search engines, love blogs, and what you can do about it because that's probably one of the one of the key things. That's why it's in the beginning. It's why we're learning this now and not three or four lessons from now. Okay? So class four is search engines, love blogs, and what you can do about that. I hope to hear from all of you at one time or another through the week in our group on Facebook, and I hope to see you back next week. Um, if for whatever reason you're, you're not able to make the class, you can always make it up by attending the class via the recordings that will be on our group. Thank you so much for attending this evening. Now, are there any questions? Somebody's typing like mad in the background. Okay. No questions? Comments? Needs? Desires? Aha? Uh -huh. All righty then. Well, then that means we will go ahead and we will stop the recording.